So we've just arrived at one of the most underrated coastlines in Europe, although I think it's technically in Asia, it's actually but technically it in Asia. is just stunning. We're so excited to check out some of the beaches and things here. And we've locked in some absolutely stunning accommodation here. Um, but the one we're seeing right now, which you can see in the background, was a bit of a cheaper option just to see the town. Yeah, it was town. a bit of a budget option for us, but we actually got here and so surprised. It's got the most amazing views over the town. Like, look at this. So we've got four amazing activities that we're going to do while we're here, which we're really excited for. Yeah, so tune in for those activities. So activity number one was a boat trip for the day from Aludnius. Here you go, darling. Here's your... <laughs> <laughs> safety safety first <laughs> i have been known to get travel sickness before so better to be safe this day trip went to i think it was five different islands or little swim spots but the one that we were mainly looking forward to was butterfly valley this is the base of butterfly valley but just wait until you see the view from the top we show that a little bit later in this video we absolutely loved this day trip it was a real highlight of our time along the coast all the swim spots were really beautiful we really enjoyed jumping off the boat however the food was we thought quite average it was only about 20 pound each for the day though so not too bad price wise okay we have just checked out of our first accommodation in Aludinez yes which is our little budget accom which is actually pretty cute yeah and now we're going to our bit more bougie accom yes so we'll show you that Ooh, bougie And we are on to exciting activity number two today. Woo, let's go. All right, go Whitney, jump. Where are we at, Brittany? Butterfly Valley. Butterfly Valley. That is one of the spots. And we are very high up. Third activity. <laughs> Third activity. And where are we, Brittany? The Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon. Which is meant to be Stonen. It's literally like, I don't know how many, how long it is, but beaches and beaches and beaches of stunning blue. And it's meant to be a sand beach. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Little. Okay, we're walking down here. It's taking a little longer than we thought. But the Blue Lagoon is massive. It's, there's so many people here. I can't get over how many people are walking into this blue lagoon, so Ooh, must it be must it. be absolutely beautiful. Okay, we've gone off to see if we take the... Gone off the beaten track. We've gone off the beaten track here, and we're hoping to find a little secluded part of the lagoon, which I think I can now see. Ooh! Looks nice! <laughs> And we soon found out that this was not a sand beach. It is, in fact, pebbles like most of the rest of Europe. But either way, it was beautiful. The water was crystal clear and we just loved swimming in that for a few hours. But then we wanted to go back to our favourite spot for some food. Okay, we actually uh, fell in love with this little shop in Aludinez. Yeah, we went there three times to eat. And the first time he gave us the takeaway bread because they just baked it like fresh and we couldn't get over how amazing it was. And we, we walked in and it's like, oh, this smells absolutely delicious. And he goes, oh, please take some, take some. <laughs> and then the second time we went for dinner last night and we, he gave, like they gave everyone bread at the table. And then we asked if we could have another one and he gave us everything that was left. Like so was two like, massive things of pitta. Yeah. And then the two tables that came in after us didn't get anything because we like he gave us all the leftovers. We felt so bad. <laughs> and then he said, we were, we were like, you know, drooling over this bread. And he was like, oh, uh, if you want to come back tomorrow, 12 o'clock is when we bake it. And the best way to have it is homemade jam, butter, cheese, and a Turkish tea. And we are like, say no more, we'll be there. So we came back today, it wasn't even on the menu and he just, as soon as we walked in, he's like, oh, come in, come in. Yeah. And he got it all out for us. It was so cute. It was so nice. Yeah, it was and so he's just like, oh, just pay whatever you think. This isn't on the menu. We just, you know, we wanted to show you, you know. This is the best way to eat it. So, <laughs> yeah, it was, oh, it was unreal. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> We're getting haircut. So we arrived yesterday in Cash. But spelt K A S. With a little thing underneath. Yeah, it's a bit confused about that. <laughs> but um, we have this beautiful, beautiful hotel we're at right now. You can see this beautiful 
it turquoise is water in the stunning. background. Um, but we're on to activity number four. All right, Brittany, where are we going? Cash. Cash. In which direction is that? <laughs> you definitely left my toothbrush behind. You definitely did, mate. Don't. Just, you definitely did. Don't blame me for <laughs> you losing your toothbrush twice. No, you lost it. How many you things brush have your you teeth? lost on this trip? You brush your teeth. How many things have I lost? <laughs> Number four, and that is explore the old town in Cash, which is pretty cute. So we're going to go have a look now. We loved walking around this cute little old town in Cash. It kind of gave us Greek island vibes. Obviously, it is close to the Greek islands. There was heaps of cute little dessert shops, great restaurants, uh, quite a lot of shopping as well. We were on the hunt for our favorite Turkish dessert, which is called Katma, which we got. And we also wanted to grab some of the San Sebastian cheesecake. We then headed back to our beautiful hotel and we were so glad that we had a couple of days staying in this stunning location to just enjoy the water, swimming and Turkish food. Thanks for joining us in our little mini vlog of the South Coast. Yeah. A very underrated part of the world, I reckon. Absolutely. And um, if you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing.